Uh, I love you, Beth Cooper. Next film up, teen comedy, starring Hayden Panettiere and Paul Rust. I, would like to I love you, Beth Cooper. Today. Chronicles the story of a nerdy valedictorian who proclaims his love for the hottest and most popular girl in school, Beth Cooper, and yes, during his graduation, graduation speech. Much to his surprise, Beth shows up at his door that very night and decides to show him the best night of his life. Oh. <laughs> Rated PG-13 for crude and sexual content, language, some teen drinking, and drug references. So, if I had done that, <laughs> First of all, I, had, I would have had to have been the valedictorian, and yes. that wasn't going to happen. But had I done that and proclaimed my love for, I don't know, who? Who was a... Uh... Um, Lynn Eckert. Lynn Eckert. <laughs> she was a very, uh, very, very attractive woman. <laughs> she would not have come to my door. I don't think so, no. I don't think Pam Wolfstitch would have either. <laughs> no, Pam Wolfstitch. And any of her lovely sisters would have. Sandy Weigel. Sandy Weigel, she wouldn't have shown up at my door. No. No. At least not unarmed. <laughs> None of them. Uh, I think that was all we had, wasn't it, in our class? I can't remember back then. Um, my mom says yum. In the... I want an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> not here so much, but in that first shot, this guy looked like he was about 35 years old, doesn't he? Thanks. You hit me with your car. It's pretty cool. This would not happen in real life. I guess that's why this, these films are like fantasy for that. Yeah. Chances like this don't come along every There's another one. This is kind of like that The Girl Next Door from a few years ago, where the Playboy model got involved with a teenager. What is wrong with these kids? <laughs> a beautiful woman opens up the towel. You don't turn away. Yes, yeah, don't turn away. Remember Weird Science where they created the girl? Yes, I do. With the with all the playboys and things. And what did they do with her? <laughs> they took her around to a bar or something. Immediately after they took the shower with her in their clothes. Yes. It went on to this wacky comedy. There's no sex of any kind going on. Right. This kid's who, who, don't know the, who was that? The, the beautiful. Uh, wasn't she like tied up with Steven Seagal? And <laughs> yeah, what's her name there? Can't remember her name. Holy cow. Anthony Michael Hall was the kid. He was one of them. And didn't. Uh, wasn't she also the lady in red? Yes. Why can't we think of her name? I Producer, come on now. Come on. Don't we have the internet around <laughs> here? Can't we be looking things up? Who's the girl in uh, Weird Science? And, uh, Kelly LeBrock. Kelly LeBrock. LeBrock. See, he had the answer. He was too busy doing something over there. <laughs> yeah, he must have been looking at those uh, Megan Fox pictures, which are coming up. Oh, let's see those. I think we have to do our DVD releases first. Is that her real name, Fox? Could that be real? I don't know. No, we do have Megan Fox there up here. Is. This is, That's of course, the first one. That was from Transformers. That's how she was introduced. Uh, yeah. She was ha having some car problems. There, so where's the where, where, I want to see the flaws, Ed. I haven't seen any yet. Well, here's another fashion picture just to get an idea. Next picture. Um, I'm not, I'm not really seeing a flaw there, Ed. There's no flaws yet. There's no flaws there. Now we have two pictures of the tattoos if okay. you consider these flaws. All right, let's, let's take a look and see how, how bad they are. We will <laughs> all laugh at gilded butterflies. Okay, now. I don't consider a tattoo there a flaw. Yeah, but this but one. But I consider that uh, kind of <laughs> stupid. Yeah. Uh, for lack of a better term, we mm -hmm. will all laugh at gilded. We couldn't come up with anything better than that. No, not even the one in the next. Uh, uh -oh. Of course, There's she has one? some of it on her ankles and arm too, which we didn't. I don't have the arm one quite. Okay, that's not right. <laughs> See that the flaws are showing up, Dave. You can't just have a, a nice, colorful picture of a flower, or you know, I'll even go for the dumb Chinese symbols people slap all over themselves. Oh, this means love and laughter. I don't care, but you got to put like a paragraph on you. What I'm not that? sure what that. I think that's a Shakespeare quote. That one is. No. She also has a picture of Marilyn Monroe on her arm, which we might see in the next picture. Now this is her physical flaw. 
I don't know if he has a physical flaw. A physical flaw. What's he that, has that stumpy thumbs? He has the toe thumbs. <laughs> toe thumbs. <laughs> 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 and that has been uh, it's a, the talk of the internet, Dave. You don't think that can be doctored a little to make it worse than it really is? Uh, no, this is actually a better picture. You see the Marilyn Monroe on I her see arm? A little, yes, I see that. Over there? Now, how do they cover these up for the film, or do they not? All makeup, they can cover these up. And we have another picture of the toe thumb. If this would, toe thumb. I think the tattoos are turning him off more than the toe thumbs, Dave. That doesn't look too bad there. She's got a little thick thumb. What, what can you do? <laughs> I don't know. You've ruined it for me, Ed. I've ruined the... the now we'll, we'll see uh, the trans, new Transformers film, though. We'll see how they cover all these things up. <sighs> but, yeah, why do, you, why do you want to write... That's almost as bad as Steve-O with a picture oh. of himself <laughs> on the back. Uh, tattooed on his back. Yeah. But you don't put a paragraph on yourself. No. <laughs> okay. okay, we have a few uh, DVD releases DVD this release. week. Let's see what we have here. This is exciting. <laughs> Knowing. Well, anything with Nicolas Cage is usually pretty bad. <laughs> Only, I swear, it was not even three months ago we did this on the show. Isn't that, yeah, that was just out. <laughs> Yeah, I, do. I remember seeing the, uh, uh, the premise is interesting, but it's got Nicolas Cage in it. <laughs> so that's the kiss of death right there. That's pretty bad. There was a time capsule he found from the 50s, and it uh, had knowledge. It pre was predicting uh, events of the future. So here it is, Seed at Home. Okay. And Murder, she wrote. Oh, my God. She's still alive? I'm not sure this was the end, but how did the, that uh, series, 10 seasons. 10 seasons. No, it wasn't that, you know, that was like, you know how you used to have years ago and NBC used to have, I think it was the, like the mystery series with Columbo yep. and McCloud. The and, Sunday mystery movie right. wheel there. This, <laughs> this thing along with uh, that Dick Van Dyke wacky doctor show. Dr. And, Sloan. And Matlock. Yeah. It was the geriatric se se series they had going on there as I stutter a little. <laughs> You oh. had the murder she wrote, you had whatever diagnosis, diagnosis murder there mm -hmm. was, and Matlock. That was like geared for, the, for our, you know, elderly friends. Or CBS viewers, as they, CBS True. is the geriatric network. But there you go. Murder she wrote. Ten years. Dear God. Apparently they're enthralled with the CSI, or not, yeah, CSI and uh, what's the Mark Harmon show? JAG and NCIS, oh, okay. more of it appeal to the older folks. So anything with like an acronym is <laughs> now what's popular. In right. Theory. Okay. What the Evil, hell? <laughs> Evil Bond 2, King Bond, Dave. Two. There was a one. <laughs> There's a one. I had to look it up to see what, what one was all about. In 3D, if you're stoned. Okay. This what is, year was this? <laughs> this is this year. Oh, come on. <laughs> Uh, this is from that Charles Band studio that gave us the Puppet Master movies in the 80s. King Bong. And I had to look up, this is King Bong. They had the regular Evil Bong <laughs> with Tommy Chong. Oh, well, that explains a lot right there. <laughs> Charles Bands. It's one scary trip, dude. Sorry. Oh, what? Scary. It says scary. Oh, I said it right. Get a little closer to the monitor. Yeah. Speaking you of being... want to lay off the alcohol. <laughs> Speaking of being stoned there while you... 